What's up everyone? This is going to be a video that outlines how Drini won the Madden Challenge Tournament. I'll be focusing on his three single elimination matches along with his one group stage game that was streamed against Young Kiv. Drini showcased a very versatile offense in terms of unique play calls and formations where he ended up calling 29 different plays out of 14 different formations from the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. On the defensive side of the ball, he ran a formidable dollar defense for the majority of his matches while opting to go to the 4-3 under in the red zone along with obvious rundowns. As you can see, Drini ended up running 5 different plays a double digit amount of times with the gun trio offset inside zone reigning supreme being called 25 times and accounting for almost 20% of his play calls. Despite that being his most called play, Gun Bunch still edged out Gun Trio Offset as his most called formation. He generally turned to Gun Bunch in passing situations while keeping his opponents honest with a healthy dosage of halfback base. He also fell behind rather quickly in his group stage matchup with Kiv, which forced him to turn to Gun Bunch a little more than usual. Now as I touched on earlier, Drini opted for a heavy dollar approach on the defensive side of the ball where he came out in dollar for 81.53% of his play calls. His most called play by far was cross 3 fire press accounting for about 28% of his total plays. He ran a lot of 3 deep shells as his second most called play on defense was cover 3 sky press. Now, although he ran a lot of stock plays that contained 3 deep shells, he seemed to be making a ton of backside adjustments to his deep coverages, making it very hard for his opponents to not only read his defense post snap, but also predict what he would be running. For example, he ran spinner and all out man to man blitz 23 times, but would very often take defenders in man assignments and put them in various zones around the field. In terms of how Drini approached the passing game, he did so primarily from the gun bunch formation. His most called passing plays were the ever popular bunch trail along with the less seen PA post shot from gun trio offset. For his bunch trail setup, as you can see here, he typically ran it how most people do where you max protect and then place the outside bunch receiver on a hitch. This gives you a backside deep post along with a tough to guard corner route with a playmaker option underneath that you can use to come back across the middle of the field or break outside and create a high low concept on the flat zone defender. He ran PA post shots several different ways, but his most common was just dragging the tight end and making reads over the middle with the crossers. This play was able to benefit from the fact that Drini was running the inside zone so much out of this formation, which forced his opponents to respect the run at the snap. Drini actually didn't end up with the greatest passing stats, going 22 for 34 for 256 yards, 5 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions throughout 4 games, where he averaged 64 passing yards per game with a 64.71% completion percentage, but it still got the job done. The running game is where Drini truly shined and which accounted for almost 64% of his play calls along with about 75% of his total offense. Shady McCoy led the way with 711 yards, good for 8.77 yards per carry, and 7 touchdowns. The biggest thing I noticed about Drini's run game was just how many huge runs he broke. Through this 4 game span, he had 7 runs of over 20 yards, 6 of which went for touchdowns. As you can see, he had touchdown runs of 50, 70, 38, 58, 63, and 64, which ended up accounting for almost 50% of his total rushing yardage. This was huge in terms of momentum along with letting him not have to open up his playbook as much which gave his opponents less looks at what he wanted to do in the passing game. Drini winning this tournament pretty much reinforces the why pass motto of Madden 18 even further by the fact that out of the four semifinalists, Young Kiv was really the only one who had a pass heavy offense. That's going to be it for this video guys. Please leave a comment and let me know who you would like to see this type of video done on next. It really helps knowing what you guys would like to see from these types of videos. As always guys, thanks for watching.